Thank y'all for tuning in to Faith in Jesus Ministries. My name is Mike Barclay, the Preacher Man. Boy, I'm just happy to be here today. I'm happy to have y'all here on Facebook and YouTube and be entertaining y'all. Man, this is fun. And to spread the Word of God with it, man, that's awesome. Man, I got the best job in the world. Brother Mike is so blessed. Man, I'm blessed in the field and blessed in the city. Blessed coming in and blessed going out. I am so blessed. You need to get some of this blessing on you. It's an anointing. Jesus was called the anointed one. I'd like to get started with something funny. This is the story of the man that committed adultery to the corner church. And he said to the priest, Father, I've done a terrible thing. I've broken one of the commandments. I've committed an adultery. I beg of you, I'd like some absolution. Well, Mike, we all have our idiosyncrasies. He says, who is the woman? I said, Father, I could never devouch the woman's name. Don't ask me to devouch the woman's name. He says, Mike, until you can tell me the woman's name, I can't give you absolution. Mrs. McCafferty, the whose husband's the butcher on the corner. Father, it wasn't Mrs. McCafferty. Please don't ask me the woman's name again. He says, Mike, until you can devouch the woman's name, I can't give you absolution. Was it Mrs. McGinnis? No, Father, it wasn't Mrs. McGinnis. Please, Father, I can never devouch the name. He says, Mike, until you can make up your mind to give me the woman's name, I can't give you absolution. He says, well, Mike, did you get absolution? He says, no, but I got some wonderful leads. Seventy-five-year-old man goes to the doctor to have his annual physical, and afterwards said, Brother Mike, you're in excellent health. This must be an inherited trait, am I right? He says, for instance, how old did your father live to be? He says, doctor, what makes you think my father's dead? He says, oh, I'm sorry, your father's alive, he sure is, many years old, still clucking. Is that a family of long-living people? You probably got that from your grandfather, right? Or was he when he uh, died? What makes you think he died? He's alive and 10 years old this week. Or so, he's getting married to a 20-year-old woman in two weeks. He says, 110 years old, but he want to get married to a 20-year-old. I looked at him and said, doctor, what makes you think he wants? When we go to God, we don't go to God begging. When you're praying, you might do something. Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace. We might obtain what? Mercy. And find grace to help in the time of need. Scripture says if you come boldly and you need mercy or you need grace, you'll find it. People don't think they can come to their father when they mess up. When you mess up, you'll find mercy. Whatever the crest is, you'll find grace. Grace is the thing you don't deserve that you get. When you come to his throne, come with confidence. Then I've done. Nothing Brother Mike's done can stop the mercy and grace that God's done for me. I am his child. Don't throw your children away. Children don't act right. Are your children. Just made your mind up. You steal mine. No matter what, how dirty they are. Steal mine. Steal mine. When somebody wants to do something to your kid, you go, hold on, hold on, player. You can't do that. I can do that. You can't do that. Steal mine. I'll let you know right now, I still go to jail for them. Your mind, understand that? Nothing that's going to make you not love and walk with your children anymore. And you continue to think that God don't want you anymore. I don't love you no more. And God's not answering my prayers because of this, because of that. It's just wrong, man. That's just so wrong. You get to know him like a lot of us at Faith in Jesus Ministry got to know him. You really get to know him. You know right from wrong. I'm not looking for this perfected person. But not you qualify me to serve his attention. That's why he says boldly come. That's my dad. Somebody else can throw me away as long as God don't throw me away. My daddy ain't never gonna throw me away. He loves me. He loves Brother Mike. He loves your mom and daddy so much. You should have known better, but you never left me. Mama said, Praise the Lord. It ain't like I didn't want to. Jesus adopted you and called you his son, but I ain't a son like you did. You know, adopted parents have more legal rights than your natural parents do. I'm not mad at you. God's not trying to hurt you. He ain't even disappointing you. God's not trying to put sickness on you. God's not trying to put disease on you. God's not trying to put financial problems on you. There's nothing you can do to get him to love you more. He's not trying to condemn you. He's not trying to shame you. He's not trying to manipulate you. He's not going to get you if you don't do this. He loves you. He's telling if God wanted to get you, you'd been God. I'm not going to condemn you. I'll, first of all, it ain't none of my business. It ain't none of Brother Mike's business, and I'll never ask you. Faith worketh by love. It's greater than faith. Already in trouble. The Bible says faith worketh by love.
why is sin not that serious? Because Jesus has already dealt with it. Already given Brother Mike eternal redemption over it. So the day you receive what he's already done for you, eternally redeemed you, redeemed you from the old man. Filled you with the Holy Ghost. So the bad can't get in and the good can't get out. You are heaven ready. Sin has consequences. The wages of sin are death. Kill you and mess your life up. Ruin relationships that will get you sick with disease. Of poverty and shame. Pain, guilt, addiction. A stressful, miserable existence. The thing sinning can't do is stop you from heaven. To a man that died because he could not beat drugs. They drugged him and he died. That brother didn't make it. That demon of drugs dragged him into hell. That demon of drugs didn't drag him nowhere. Unwillingness to reprogram his mind dragged him there. To be absent with the body is to be present with the Lord. If you believed in God, you received eternal life. Jesus is not giving you a license to sin. He's giving you a license to be who he made us. You don't have to keep sinning rid of the sin. You're still going to be sinning until you reprogram your mind with the Word of God. It's going to be a life of downloading the Word of God and reprogramming your mind. The Bible talks about deliverance from temptation. You've already been delivered. You now victory over the actions of sin. Brother Mike wants you to repent of your sin and give God your heart. Operating by new programs. Still trying to find a way to have your cake and eat it too so your sin has consequences. When to reap what you sow. Remember that old scripture in the Bible says your sin will surely find you out. That's what religion did. When you get caught, God's going to get you. The consequences hurt. They're painful. It you, it hurts other people. What happens is we don't want to do it God's way. Here's the thing. He loved you before you got saved. I'd rather have a guide because we're walking in darkness. That's what God wants to do for you. He wants to be your guide. He's trying to make you do nothing. He's just trying to stop you from having a wreck. Lift your hands up. That's your daddy. Go ahead. Give him some love right now. We just praise you the enemy. You're not trying to beat us down, condemning us to sickness. You're not doing none of that stuff. Love us. We love you at Faith in Jesus Ministry. Thank you, Jesus, for this relationship. Get rid of that bad religion that keeps accusing God of being your problem. It's not. It's a day for us Christians. It's not going to be a horrible day. It's going to be like an award decision. Us, he's already judged us. Now that we're in Christ, he judges us to be righteous, to be a new creature, perfect, to be holy. Glory to God. Judge for my position in Christ. Actions themselves will judge you. I'm giving God credit for being the bad guy. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That sermon, Satan is your errand boy. If you open the door to the devil and open your mouth, he will come in and destroy your life. Kill you. Life is full of challenges and uncertainty. We need to be sure God hears us when we pray. But Brother Mike teaches how to have an effective prayer life in his new DVD. Perfect in essence of prayer. Understand God's design for your life. Thankfulness is a two message series on the DVD for any dollar amount at Faith in Jesus Ministry. Or for $35 or more, we'll send you the 10 DVD collection with 200 of Brother Mike sermons. Call the number on the screen or go online to order today. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 9. The Word of God is not bound because of the business of healing, delivering, and empowering. People, no matter where they reside, stories, testaments, and love, mercy, and grace of God. Share your testimony of faith in Jesus Ministries today. Grace life. We're talking about the it's this issue trying to reconcile the grace of God with finances. It's so scary. I'd be scared. A lot of pastors I believe the Grace Life Conference is for ministry gifts. And to really understand how to be gracious and to allow the grace of God opportunity to show you the freedom that we can give presentation. Give you an understanding that you don't have to have a controlling spirit when you're preaching. You fear to try to control people. When you can watch Faith in Jesus Ministries, you get to every subject. You get the pastor and the wife and the husband and the daughter and the son. A lot of people encounter what Peter, Peter dealt with. It's hard to let go of the old ways. It's hard for you to believe that you can get something without doing something. It's a great introduction for you to build a foundation of understanding into the kingdom. You are as pure and as holy as Jesus is if you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So refreshing to my spirit, my soul, and my body. The more abundance of grace God has given to you, the more you're going to be bold in the name of the Lord. Visit in Houston, Texas. Visit Faith in Jesus Ministry for its most blessed services. Sickness and disease are barring our lives. We have so many questions. Will God heal us? I still heal today. With Jesus, healing is just not a question. In fact, a promise. This month, TBN and Faith in Jesus Ministries wants to, to remind you of his healing promises. So thank you for your gift of $35 or more. We'd like to send you a 10 DVD collection of all Brother Mike's 200 sermons to bless your life. 
in Jesus' name. Courage your well-being. Beautiful devotion was filled with God's healing promises. It's unshakable evidence for him to see you desire and help. With the appreciation of your gift of $60 or more, include this amazing DVD of my most famous sermons. My most famous sermons I did at Maxton Square Garden for 300,000 Muslims. And over a third of them came to the Lord. If you'll see firsthand testimonies of people receiving God's supernatural healing, you'll get my book, Christ the Healer. D donate $200 or more in support of the global outreach in the TBN and Faith in Jesus Ministries. Seek the Healing Holy Bible. The Bible is designed to equip and encourage believers. Understand that you received the finished work of healing. For your gift of support of the Faith in Jesus Ministry, and request your copy. If you'd like to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, just say this simple prayer with me. Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I confess you, Lord, with my mouth in Jesus' name. Lord, come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you said that simple prayer with us right now, we'd like to believe you got saved. Get into a good Bible preaching church. Put God first place in your life. He'll take you places you never dreamed. Stay tuned for the blessing. May the Lord bless you. And show you his kindness, his love, and his mercy, his happiness, and his joy. May he crown your head with the crown of favor. May he open the windows of heaven and pour blessings upon your life. You have no room to receive in Jesus' holy name. We thank you for your faithful financial support of Faith in Jesus Ministries. We spread the gospel around the world in Jesus' holy name. And unfortunately, it takes money to do that. So y'all have been great givers in the past and are great givers right now because y'all have a heart of gold and y'all want to help Brother Mike. Can I talk to you for a minute? Can I get a little help from you? If every one of you would donate a dollar, we put the hospitals out of business. In Jesus' name, MD Anderson out of business. Cancer out of business. We will heal everybody in the name of Jesus. We figured out YouTube. It costs about a dollar per viewer to get people saved. So if you send me $10, I'll get 10 people saved. If you send me $20, I'll get 20 people saved. If you send me $1,000, I'll get all your family and friends into heaven in Jesus' name. So we thank you for your tithes, gifts, and your offerings. The Lord told me 120 of you were going to donate $1,000 seed. $1,000? Yes, $1,000 to faith in Jesus' ministry. To spread the gospel in Jesus' name. To help us get on television and buy television time. To help get souls into heaven in Jesus' holy name. We're able to send you that DVD of the month because we're debt free. We've been debt free since we got this thing started in 1982. So if you send me $20, that whole $20 goes to the world evangelism. We don't owe anybody nothing but to love them. If you send me $1,000, that whole $1,000 goes to the world evangelism. So we pray, thank you for the gift and thank you for the giver. We like to pray for it 30, 60, 100 fold and a thousand times return for bus and faith in Jesus ministry to receive money. God bless y'all in Jesus name. We, your support is greatly appreciated here. And be sure to like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel to get some good Holy Spirit filled preaching in. In Jesus name, it's free to subscribe. In Jesus' holy name, thank you, Lord.